Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to make this beautiful oven baked chicken and rice. This is one of my best oven baked rice recipes ever, I tell you. But before we start, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, please. And without further ado, let's get on with it. I'll be using chicken leg quarters for this recipe. If you're thinking, I'm this too big, will they cook through? Because to be honest, a lot of people use thigh instead. But that's fine, honestly. This will cook through. There's a method to it. And I will be showing you just how to do that. So this I've been cleaned thoroughly. I've got about four, no, I've got five in here. Next, I'll mix the dry rub. Now for the dry rub, I've got a mix of oregano, garlic powder, black pepper, dried parsley, chicken bouillon, smoked paprika, Chinese five spice, onion powder and some salt. I proceed to mix the blend thoroughly. You don't have to use the exact same seasonings I use here. You can mix and match or you can use pretty much whatever you've got. Or if you've got your own special blend, then you can use that. Next, I'll poke some holes in the chicken. You can make incisions if you prefer that. And this is so the seasons can properly penetrate into the chicken. And I should state at this time that if you're pressed for time, then it's better you make incisions on the chicken. But because I'm going to be marinating for about 24 hours, I don't need to do that at all. So I will just be poking holes and this will still work. Next, I'll add some olive oil. I'm using just about a tablespoon, not too much. You can use pretty much any other kind of oil that you prefer. And then I'll massage this thoroughly into the chicken. And after that, I will add about half of my seasoning blend. Next, I'll proceed to massage thoroughly into the chicken, making sure that all the chicken pieces are well coated with the seasoning. Next, I'll cover and leave to marinate for 24 hours. You can do anything between 2 to 24 hours. It's up to you, but the longer the better. Once the chicken is well marinated, I will transfer them onto my baking tray. Now, if you marinated your chicken for anything from 6 hours to 24 hours, then it is important that you cover it with some more of the seasoning so after doing that i will be covering with a bit of oil not too much again say about a tablespoon or two and then bake for 30 minutes at 180 degrees celsius onto the rice i'll quickly go through the ingredients needed i've got some butter this is unsalted butter you can also use salted butter if you like and then adjust the amount of salt you add i've also got some chicken stock you need very flavorful chicken stock in order to achieve very flavorful and delicious rice. Chopped onions, you may also use shallots. Minced garlic, I've got roughly about eight cloves here. Sesame oil, this is optional. I just love to infuse a bit of that distinct Chinese flavor into this dish. And I've also got some black pepper, chicken bouillon, smoked paprika, thyme, black pepper, chopped chili peppers. You can adjust this to suit your heat preference. Now it's time to cook the rice and here I've got a pan on medium heat and once it heats up I will go in with my butter and then proceed to melt. Once the butter is well melted I will add the chopped garlic and then fry this for 2 minutes. Please be careful with the garlic so you don't end up burning it because once it's burnt, it's going to ruin the taste of your rice. After two minutes, I will add the chopped onions and the chopped chili peppers and saute for about two minutes or until fragrant. Next, I'll add my smoked paprika and that's for some color. Then the bouillon cubes, black pepper, thyme and oregano. And then I'll combine this thoroughly and then fry for about a minute. As you can see, I didn't add salt and this is because my stock is well seasoned and I'm trying to avoid the rice ending up too salty. But if you want, you can add some salt. But like I said, I really don't need to do this. After combining, I'll fry for a minute. Like I said, I'm repeating myself a bit too much and then add my thoroughly washed rice. For my rice, I'm using Sela Basmati and this is more like parboiled rice. This has been washed thoroughly. I washed until the water ran clear and then I ran it through my colander until really dry. Please, please, I can't stress this enough. Please make sure you wash your rice until the water runs clear. Otherwise, your rice is going to be way too sticky. And then I will toast this for about two minutes. 
and after toasting i will add my chicken broth and in case you're wondering at this point why i'm doing this on the hob instead of you know in the oven because it's meant to be oven baked rice this is how i prepare rice i would never lump all my ingredients together and just just in then just transfer it into the oven i don't know how to do that because for me i just don't believe it's going to be as flavorful as i want it to be but if you like you can just lump everything together like i said and do that but no i'm not doing that and after combining thoroughly i will transfer this into my baking tray this will be baked covered at 180 degrees celsius for 20 minutes i should state at this point that i'm timing the chicken and the rice in a way that they both end up cooked at the same time so for the rice i started cooking it 10 minutes after placing the chicken in the in the oven so all of this took me say about about 10 minutes and this way the rice cooks halfway in 20 minutes likewise the chicken that cooks halfway as well for 30 minutes so this is my chicken after 30 minutes as you can see they are halfway cooked i'll best them with the drippings to prevent dryness and at this time my rice has also cooked halfway in 20 minutes Next, I'll add the drippings from the chicken into the rice and then combine thoroughly. The aroma from this right now is insane. You know, the spices and seasons from the chicken coming, coming together with the rice is so beautiful. Anyways, after mixing thoroughly, I will cover with some foil again and then place this back in the oven for a further 20 minutes. I'll also cover the chicken at this time with some cling film and this is to prevent charring or to prevent it burning and then transfer it back into the oven for a further 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, this is what my rice looks like. Absolutely beautiful and delicious. My camera is not even doing it justice at this time. It is absolutely beautiful. So I should mention at this point that if you really want to enjoy this recipe, then please use enough butter and garlic because this is what really heightens the flavor and the aroma. Anyways, I will start to transfer the chicken onto the rice because right now it is ready to eat. Just look at this deliciousness. I really can't get over this, I tell you. So this is what it looks like served. Hmm. Have you enjoyed this recipe? If you have, please leave me a thumbs up, please. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. And if you do, and if you do try this recipe and you love it, please leave me a comment as well in the comment section. I'd love to read from you. So till next time, it's goodbye.